I'm here in Laurel, Montana. I hopped off the train down there uh, around midnight. I was riding the third car from the very rear. So I ended up with about a five and a half mile walk to get into downtown Laurel. I didn't make it. So I just posted it up here by the highway and now I'm heading in. Coming into downtown Laurel, Montana. This is the main Y right here. As you can see, this track splits off and heads straight south from here. That's the train I'd want to ride. Nap time for now though. Morning in downtown Laurel. Well, I'm not quite downtown yet. Uh, I didn't do anything yesterday. I was pretty wiped. I just kind of hung out and recharged all my equipment, drank a bunch of water, ate some food, took a nap. Cops came and kicked me out at midnight, so I had to move, but otherwise, oh, everything's been pretty smooth. The people of Laurel are being real good to me. They keep trying to give me money and like someone bought me coffee this morning. So anyway, probably gonna try to track down my train today. Um, I have one thing I need to try to do this morning and that's really it. Then I'm ready to head for Denver. And there it goes, very brief, under a minute stop as it enters the yard here. And I might regret not getting on it, but I'm just gonna let it pass. Jesus. So I'm here where I've been pretty much the entire day. I really just didn't move. This area right here, I got shade, you know, all day long if I just keep moving around every four or five hours. So I really didn't have a reason to go anywhere. And I kind of expected my train to come creeping out of here sometime in the last four hours. But that one that I thought was it turned out to not be it. And just back back in and check the unit off. So I don't know. I'm already kind of like, eh, maybe I should have gone on that other train earlier. But it's whatever. There'll be another one of those in two days. And I don't think I'll be here that long anyway. Oh, shit! Damn. That Skeeter, he was full of my blood. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> where was I? Laurel, Montana, nothing doing. So I'm thinking strategically about the best place to be uh, asleep tonight if a train go a mile away were to come. It's like I've kind of explained the issue is they take a Y to the south. They don't really stop at any point when they take that Y. I mean, there's a very good possibility they'll be going too quick to get on. And even if they are going slow enough for me to get on, only about half the train is going to be going that slow. So I kind of got to think about the furthest place back that I can be where I can still see if my train takes the curve to the south. 
because as soon as that train comes by me, I'll wake up, pack up, and then if I can see it take that curve, the moment I can see it take that curve, I know I'm good to go, and then I just boogie and try to find a ride. Um, but all of that happens in, you know, probably about a minute. And if you're not up and ready to go, you're not going to be ready in the next minute or two after that. And that's really all the time you're going to have to get a train here. The way I'm doing it right now, anyway. So ultimately what I decided for tonight... Oh, fuck, there's a train. Better not be my train. Ah. Um, what I decided for tonight is that there's a reason I was hanging out where I was. And that reason is it's really just the best place to be able to see trains if they take the curve and as they pull up to you. No, it's just another earthworm. Not my train, thankfully. Yeah, it'll be kind of tricky if the train comes at night. Uh, just one, because you're going to have to wake up, throw my sleeping bag into my backpack real quick. I'll sleep with my boots on, because really that's the hardest part, is getting your shoes on quickly enough. But if I can just wake up, jam my sleeping bag in my pack, I might have a chance. But there's really not a whole lot of light down here by the tracks either. So it'll be uh, a little bit precarious to try to catch on the fly at night when tired. Especially if the train is uh, moving quickly. And really, if it were moving quickly, I wouldn't even try. It's not worth it. Another day in Laurel. Just so little to talk about right now. I slept right here. No one bothered me. And my train didn't come either. That's about all there is. All right, it's about that time. <clears throat> I'm kind of expecting the um, southbound to Cheyenne to come through within the next hour and a half or two hours, if it's going to. And if it doesn't come through, I have something to look forward to this afternoon. It's Kentucky Derby Day. I've got to say, people, this is about the best cookie I've ever eaten. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. You know, I've never really considered myself a cookie person. But I may be now. Of a cookie. Okay, this is it right here. I'm pretty fucking certain that's my train. I got a boogie. Yep, that's it. It's on the closest track. Ugh, I don't see any rides anywhere near me. Fuck. I'm just gonna let him get by me and then uh, hopefully a ride will be here and they'll be going slow enough. Still no sign of any ride whatsoever. I hope I don't miss the Kentucky Derby. steam now coming out of Laurel. I think I'm all right.
fucking yellow jacket on the train. I kid you not, I could literally get off and on the train right here. I could go to switch to a different car if I needed to. Or go camping. Yeah, we're coming up into the Beartooth Mountains. And the scenery will get fantastic from here. two hours until the Kentucky Derby starts. I think I'm gonna miss it. Well, I'm riding along singing the same old cowboy song that's been sung a hundred before Ain't got nothing but my name And I'm the only man I know to blame But I'm living I'm happy and I'm free Just listen to the wind blow Let blow Yeah. 
outside So I can watch the moon a hiding in the desert sky You know, I really got to say, both Grable and Laurel, really nice places to be. I could totally live out here. So you got patriotic eagles up against uh, Sherbert Sunset. Bugling elk beckoning you into the grocery slash liquor store where they have a fair amount of goods and most importantly IPAs have found their way to the heartland I'm not kidding folks it's pretty nice out here There's a bat hunting right here in between the train cars. He's been here for like three minutes. There he is. Oh, there's another one now. There's two of them. Casper, Wyoming. They're working my train. It's time to bail. <laughs> 